Hey guys and welcome back. In this video I'll be talking about memory and memory mapping and what they mean. And uh this like sketch to it. So right over here I have set up this small real little code that you've seen before, pretty much loading the value the accumulator with the value four, you know, it's storing that value four into the memory location or the memory address 200 hex so I'll be going over and through uh, what those this 200 means and why if I put uh, I mean if I run you already see how it does is put this pixel over here and what if for example I s switch the value for 199 and I run it and nothing happens over here uh, I'll explain that and the addressing of memory so let me jump to that okay over here you have the small diagram of the MOS 6502 chipset and as you can see each one of these squares represents a pin and uh, let me bring this draw through let me show here and as you can see it has this A5 A6 well, from 0 to 15 and from 0 to 15 it means there's 16 there's 16 pins which, which flows electricity which means there's 16 bits or 2 bytes or actually what it's called one word so if you have 2 bytes is is a uh, one word if, let's say so there's 16 bits as you can see over here uh, and you, you can see this D oh, draw to here from here the D represents data so we have a one byte data which actually have a 16 bits address that you can use so let me clear this out and uh, let me close this and now let's go to the next part over here okay now let's go over here and you can look at the schematics of the 6502 and as you can see right here uh, let me highlight this to your right you have the low register 0 to 7 and as you, as you can see well there's you can, well you can see better over here you actually see the numbers that co corresponds to the pin sets but as you can see this is a low uh, address bus and this is the high registers meaning that uh, these will contain the first uh, 8 bits and these will correspond to other 8 bits so meaning let me bring my draw tool again so this will be for example zeros uh, let me use a text so this will be actually one zero zero one zero one two three four five so this will have this this number over here let me change colors put another one something like this meaning that will be the address and let me, this will be for this part for the high and this will be for the low address so now let me show you guys uh, what is this address okay so when I'm really referring to memory um, really means we are using RAM which means random access memory meaning that we are X have access to memory at any random 
point in time unlike something uh, like sequential memory would be something like a cassette player where you have to fast forward or rewind so you can find the right location like a song so you can plus uh, play and uh, RAM is a volatile memory meaning that meaning that once we shut down the computer and the electricity goes off all the information is lost like a hard drive where all the information is stored the difference be the main difference why you use RAM is mainly because RAM is extremely faster than hard drive and as you can see here I'm trying to draw a, a this block is going to represent our RAM and each one of these blocks is going to represent uh, one byte of data if you remember from the from the diagram from the 65 oops the 6502 we had uh, seven pins of data it was D1 from if I can grab this somehow oh, let me redo this okay so there is uh, there is it can be something like this this example that this block contains one byte of data uh, and when we are referring to a memory location or memory address really means the each of these blocks is going to represent a a byte of data in our RAM and each RAM has a address so if corresponding from zero all the way to since 6502 AZ uh, has two bytes of memory so here you have uh, let me grab this like you remember in the diagram you have the oh it's awful here it is you have the high you have the low so we have two bytes of memory and that would be the last uh, the last address of memory oh tiny arrow okay, this will be the last one oh, let me just drop the box over here so all the way in between zero then you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then you have A, B, C, and so on, until all the way to F, 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 which means the last memory value. All of these are address. So when we have, when I had my example over there of LDA, oops, 4, store the, to the, I think that was our example was about. I mean, store the value A into register four, and get a the value four on register the accumulator, not the register the accumulator, and start at address two hundred. So around here on RAM there will be a block of chain that would be two hundred. Just for uh, example's sake, let me say this was it. So there will be a bunch of addresses between 0 to 200 and, and let's say this was the memory for example and we're storing the value 4 on it. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, uh, 10 is 3, so 11, there we go. So somewhere in memory from from 
the address 200 we we're going to store the value for from here and we actually have well, let me grab the color over here the FFFF is actually value 535 because it's true to the power of 16 minus 1 so that's all the available addresses that we have that's why it's a two byte. If it was well, only one byte, one byte of memory is c so. Oh, let me put you over here. So this is a two byte. It's a two corresponds to two bytes. That's why you have all. So you have sixty-five thousand blocks of data that contains one byte so that's 65,535 blocks and all of them is gonna have their corresponding address however if I say if it was only one byte the max you'd have is 255 so because this is to the power of 16 this is the power of 8 and it grows exponential so you probably been saying, "Wow, that's a lot of mem that's a lot of blocks of memory you have." So that's. However, as we are talking about, uh, supposed to talk about um, memory mapping. So, like for example, memory mapping means we're gonna uh, split uh, the data. Is not we're not gonna split so. There's going to be different parts, different parts of data that a another component is going to use. So let me highlight here different colors and go through that. So actually, let me use this blue color over here. That would be perfect. Correspond to the code I have over there. And let's grab some other colors like yellow. There's a green over there, yellow over there, and so on. Okay, so let me drag this code over here. If you remember on the example in the beginning of the video, I had a uh, I put right over here. If I had put, uh, we had the accumulator with the value four. If I had put the uh, value one ninety nine, it'll be up below over here. It didn't work. That's because if you if you go to the emulator, it, it specifically tells us if you use the address from two hundred to five ff. If I'm memory is correct, I'm gonna check that later. All of this value. And now let's suppose that's all the range that we have on this color blue. All of those those values is gonna be corresponding the pixels on the screen so you are simulating for example the video card so if you change if you start any values over here it means that for let's say for example this is gonna be our video card so our, our video chip so our video chip is gonna every time we make changes to the memory location. It really, our memory, our feeder chip is using that. This, all of this block of data. So if you change, for example, the value 200, you actually changing the first value of the pixel. It really means that the video chip has this address assigned to him. So over here we probably would have, for example, I don't know. This could be the keyboard. This could be the. This could be the sound. This could be our code. Over here, uh, if you have like the Atari 2600, you have some for the TIA chipset, some for the video, some for the controllers, and so on. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the the emulator and show you guys 
the memory mapping that they have for the video just to show you guys okay so you're back here in your emulator and uh, if you come under here under notes if you click on that have notes he, he has a few memory locations that he mapped to and what we want to see is this one 200 to 5ff map and if you were to think this is a chipset he pretty much like I said this is an emulator so it set up the value 200 the address 200 all the way to address 5ff so we're, the computer is gonna is gonna assign all those values all this range of values to the screen pixel so like it's emulating a video chipset and if you change the values over here the those values are being used for the the chipset the video so think of adult, all those data as being part of the video chip and if you change the video chip uh, values of 200 to 5ff actually ch the video chip actually is using the value so just like I said in the beginning just think of that the, that part of memory is for the video chip unlike today is that it comes pretty much every video card comes with its own RAM so you can use it even uh, prior like Windows 95 the computer didn't have the video card is, is actually uh, run on Windows instead of the, the video card so it actually had its own memory location on the RAM taken off and uh, I think that's about it so I see you guys in the next video thank you